two weeks of training and it all comes down to this moment as soldiers make the final preparations to fire mortar for the first time. And then all you're going to do is you're going to just chip the ammunition round, make sure that there's no cracks, anything like that in it, making sure that the cushion cap has not been struck, anything like that, making sure it's all safe. With the final ammunition lesson over, it's out on the range for these soldiers and behind a powerful bit of kit. All right, happy, to be honest, I'm looking forward to it. One say I'm scared, one say I'm nervous, because like the givers are out training and everything, and it's just want to get it done now, have a go, have a play. A bit nervous, but excited at the same time. Um, definitely, I think, a bit more excited than nervous. Um, should be a good, good experience. So at this stage now, they're just waiting to be fired, and then that's normally when they get a little bit nervous when they get told to fire. The two and the number one have put the foot on the base plate. That's just to steady the mortar, uh, because what's going to happen now is once they fire, the whole base plate's going to drop. So that's just so that they can balance the base plate out and they're going to start firing now. So the number one thing's told to fire. He's going to pull his pin. Was the cover off? Place the round down. There's, there's shot one. So number three's been fired to it. Pulled off his safety catch, pulled the muzzle cover off, places the round in, follows it down. Working in teams of three, the safety staff are ready to step in in case of a complication. So that's the one fired, and then the two's next. Clear! Clear! Three fire! Whoa! Take it out, take it out. Yeah. So that wasn't meant to happen? No. So he's just had an ang fire. So basically, what's happening, he's got nervous, he's put the bomb into the barrel, and he's not followed it, he's just let it go at the top, so it's, ju it's, it's just got stuck at the top, so the safety staff's just stepped in. Uh, take it back out, he's just told him to safety stand fast, uh, re-teach him and just say, calm down, relax, show him the method. It's just one of the things that happens. It wasn't anything unsafe or anything like that. He was just a little bit nervous, he didn't do it. Safety staff stepped in and then they'll just correct it. He won't do it again. So the number two's gonna fire now, as normal. Two fire, clear! Three fire! Which was a lot better than the last time, so he's learnt from his mistake. After that, it was plain sailing for these soldiers as they fired the 81mm mortar. For all of them here, it was a test to complete their cadre and qualify with the weapon. So how was it? It's definitely a good experience, something new. I'm obviously being in regular we'll be able to fire these more often. Um, but it's definitely a good experience, loved it. But it was different. Obviously you don't actually see where it goes until 30 seconds later, but yeah, it was good. Put your left hand finger on the number two and the number one will land just to the right of it. Yeah. You know what, you know what I mean by the four shot? Yeah. Watch. The section is still in training and here the instructors can quickly and efficiently iron out any issues. There's still a lot of improvements to be made, um, but overall, um, certainly their attitude and the momentum um, and the drills being safe, they're where we think they should be. Um, but obviously, like I say, it's day one, so it's, it's always going to be a bit slow. That first round down is, is quite nerve-wracking for most people. And we did see those nerves at points, didn't we? We did, yeah. Um, not always best to be seen on camera, but no, it, they, they're there. Um, and certainly the guys that uh, have got experience will notice them mistakes and that is why we have you know the safety on top of the motor guys. Elevation one two eight three elevation one, four lengths have been eight, leading the exercise which meant training had to be condensed from a three week course down to two to allow for the reserve's civilian commitments. Let's go come on quick go 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 Working amongst regular and reserves, they've been sectioned into their own households to follow COVID-19 regulations. The group will now continue their training to qualify in firing the mortar. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.